<clears throat> Hi guys. Um, and now I'm alive. Um, a lot's happened since my last set of videos, um, of which uh, my health, my mental health, as well as my physical health, has gone downhill um, pretty bad. And um, what I mean by that is um, I have been seeing a therapist and my therapist thinks I have a couple of mental health, undiagnosed mental health issues and uh, has put me on uh, some medication I'm about to go pick up after I finish this coffee. So I know this isn't a coffee time, this is me just giving you a personal update. I explained to her my lack of motivation. I explained to her my um, restless leg syndrome. That's one of the things I've been diagnosed with is restless leg syndrome. Um, some of you may or may have noticed back in the day in my streams when I lived in Utah, I would do this thing with my hands uncontrollably. Um, that is a sign of a specific cognitive issue. Um, they call it delayed reaction something or other. I can't remember the acronym off the top of my head. I literally just woke up maybe about 10 minutes ago. And um, I showed her some of the footage of me playing games and, and it going off and she was explaining to me that um, the games, the overexcitement is what was triggering, triggering my hands to do that, what it did. And she asked me if that ever happened while I was in the service and to my memory, to my recollection, um, something like that did happen to me once where I lost control of my hands and I couldn't control the vehicle I was driving. Um, Challenger 1, by the way. And um, my TC was screaming at me to, to move. And it just, the only way to describe it was it sounded like my head was underwater. And... You know, the, the better way to describe it is um, Charlie Brown, the teacher. Wah, 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 wah. That's literally all it sounded like. My brain was just... The way the therapist explained it to me, she said that my brain was going into default shutdown, which means my brain was overstimulated. It didn't understand what was going on, and it went to auto reset. It went to auto reboot. Very similar to how when you're choked out in a guillotine chokehold, you just... You just... Because there's no... Well, there's other things that your brain's your brain can do something similar to that that will, that will do that and um, I did not know this and uh, I just chalked it up to momentary loss of concentration and that's what I've always chalked it up to but it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse the more uh, I get older and um, recently uh, my, my grandmother passed away in November and uh, that has also been affecting my de uh, uh, depression and whatnot and like I said this therapist has been helping me pro bono pro bono she, she hasn't asked me for a single penny but I can't pay for the prescriptions that she issues to me because they're private it's not an NHS therapist it's a private therapist um, so she's donating her time to me um, but when she wants me to get a prescription I have to pay for it out of pocket and some of the pills are 150 200 pounds prescription and I'm on a very limited budget I have a budget of about 50 pounds a month to buy food with no joke I can even show you my phone right now now normally I don't do this but By the way, no, I am. I'm not asking for money. Before anyone asks, I'm not. This isn't a Patreon. This isn't the world's smallest fiddle. But uh, there you go. Fifty-four pounds is exactly what I've got. Fifty-four pounds eighteen p. Why? Because I'm on military benefits, and um, they only pay about a thousand pounds a month. That's what I live off. I live off a thousand pounds a month, and my rent is four hundred and ninety pounds. So you can understand why I really can't go anywhere or do anything. I'm literally stuck in limbo. Um, I do want to go back to school 
for um, for comp TA and uh, IT and, and, and ethical hacking and, and what because that's what I want to do um, I recently started working on this uh, Ponagotchi uh, um, uh, pro Pi program it's basically around Raspberry Pi um, it's a fun fun little thing you take it out and it sniffs Wi-Fi packets it doesn't do anything nefarious it just goes oh there's a Wi-Fi router there oh there's this oh there's that and it logs it and then you upload it to a, a a uh, educational website and what that website does is it explains um, certain things that are going on around the UK it says okay so if you're in this this town you can go here here to here and get nothing but free Wi-Fi um, <laughs> uh, and things of that nature and it's all it's all AI based the AI is the one that goes around and um, does a kind thing of, of, of putting it all together for you and, and granted yes you gotta sniff the packets and, and, and do a little bit of a work as they say but um, in general it's just a, it's just a fun concept um, and it's called a Ponogotchi uh, <laughs> it, it really is just a fun um, all around fun concept and I, I enjoy it I, I do enjoy it. It's a fun project, and and <laughs> the best way to describe describe it is, I like it because it's a fun project. I like it because it is, um, it gives me something to do when I go for a walk. I literally just equip it to a a, a battery bank, and I just put it in my bag and go for a walk and it does its thing it comes back and it's happy I, I plug it into a network it then uploads all the WIPA keys and a whole bunch of other stuff and whatnot yes you can be very nefarious there are plugins that allow you to deauth and, and and all this other stuff I don't do any of that because I'm still learning Python I'm still learning uh, uh, Java I'm still learning um, Linux. I'm learning a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm, in, I'm I'm actually enjoying myself. I really am enjoying myself, and that's all that matters to me now is my own personal enjoyment, and I I really am having fun. I really am enjoying myself, and I could not give a toss what other people think anymore I really don't and I know that sounds horrible I do I get it I know that sounds horrible but frankly this is my life not yours so so bruh I'm I'm, I'm gonna live my life the way I want to live it and for me I am having the best time of my life so to say um, just being me just doing what I do and yeah it's 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 fun For, to me it's fun um, but yeah so that's what's been going on guys I've been busy you know uh, buying SD cards and programming um, different the next builds and, and destros and stuff on it um, I do and get I'm also getting into electronic repairs um, again it, it's going in tandem in hand with what I'm doing ethically ethically I might add um, so this is a cheapy tablet I bought on Facebook Marketplace for like 15 quid. It's supposed to come with a Bluetooth keyboard. I bought two of these now, and neither one of them come with the keyboard. One I've actually bricked. It's in the bag, in an envelope over there that's about to get shent, sent off to the manufacturer because I accidentally bricked it um, because I wasn't paying attention. I was half asleep when I tried to uh, pull the ROM file. Not, not right to the ROM file, pull the ROM file. And something happened and the ROM file got corrupted and now it won't even power on it. it, it, it you got the charge LED that comes on and the, the screen just doesn't want to do anything. Um, 
So yeah, I'm trying to get uh, Kali Linux and a few other things. Uh, no root installed on that. It's been a real pain in the ass. Um, I have actually fixed a couple of phones. Um, this is my old Nexus, uh, uh, Huawei Nexus P6. It had a dead battery in it and I replaced the battery in it. And now the battery is 100% and this is on the, uh, and it's un completely unlocked. It works on any network. So right now this is on three. Um, this is my main phone, it's on EE. Um, and then the next phone that's gonna get repaired is this one. This is a Moto Droid Moto Razor, Razor Z. Uh, Z. It's going to get a new screen and a new battery. The battery came today. Um, see, the battery came today. But the screen won't be here for a while because the screen's got to come from China. And it's like 30 quid. And I'm like, Yuck. well, that's got, to, that's got to wait. Um, I also bought a couple of screens for the... Um, for the, the Pi, that is a Pi W2, a Zero W2. Um, I'm also going to be looking at getting a Pi 3, maybe even a Pi 4, and turning it into a small little development uh, network thing um, where I hook up to it. Basically, I'm, I'm looking at building my own tablet. Uh, Wi-Fi module, Bluetooth module, you name it. I'm literally going to be custom building and even 3D printing because I'm, I'm looking at getting an FDM 3D printer. Um, ironically, <laughs> where is it? Uh, this one's going to have a, a 3D printing OS on it. And uh, I found a guy in Lithuania who hand builds Pi clones, W2 uh, uh, Pi clones. And they're like five quid each. They're ridiculously cheap. And um, so I'm going to buy a bunch of them. I've got to wait like two weeks for them to get to me because, I mean, he, he hand builds these things. Uh, when I get those... Uh, I'm turning one of them into an actual FDM 3D printer. I'm going to buy a separate head, the stepper motors and everything, and build my own FDM 3D printer. Um, which means I'll be able to start doing things like my cosplay um, and stuff like that, where I can start 3D printing bigger projects, um, things of that nature. I've got my eye on a really cool uh, Mandalorian helmet concept that's mine. It's a, I'm building this concept. I'll talk more about it during a live stream or something. But, um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing, guys. I've been keeping myself busy um, fixing uh, mobile phones. This phone here is fixed as well. This is a Samsung Galaxy J-Pop. Um, but this one's stuck on an American. Uh, these two phones are from America. These are my phones that I had when I lived in the States. Um, and so they're stuck on um, US, uh, G, uh, US uh, uh, signal receiver bands. And so I've got to... Um, get inside them, pull that out, change it all around, so then unlock it so it can work on any network, on any any uh, G-band system. So when those two are done, I will literally have no more mobile phone projects to work on. I might actually end up selling some of those on either Facebook or eBay or something to recoup a little bit of my, my finances, because these are not, they're not cheap. Um, and I've even started getting into making myself little project boxes. Um, <laughs> What I mean by that is, uh, as you guys know, I'm a bit of a pack rat. Uh, I keep adapters and plugins and Jimmy D. Crickets knows what else. I mean, this blue blue thumb drive has got Windows 10 Master Key, which means it will let me install any version of Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 uh, from any other version of Windows 10. I've got uh, Kali Linux on that drive there which is just plug and play you plug it into any pc and the Kali linux os will just take over uh with no root no no antivirus triggers uh, things of that nature i've got bluetooth modules i've got wi-fi modules both 2.4 and 5g band and yeah i've been <laughs> i've i've been getting into uh github and a few other places and and yeah it's I've been making some new friends and, and whatnot, and it's fun. It's fun. I ended up needing an optical drive. I was like, why do I need an optical drive? It's such an old media. And it is old media, if you think about it. But I actually needed an optical drive. And so I, um, <laughs> I uh, looked on Amazon. 
and I found this little bugger for twelve pounds. I was like, can't be that good. It's actually not that bad. It does read read really fast. I don't think it's a writer. Um, external optical drive. Uh, pass on product. No, it's just a regular reader. It's not a writer. So that's probably why it was so cheap. But it does have a USB Type C and a regular USB. Uh, interface so in theory I could plug this into one of my smartphones go figure um, so yeah I've got one of these uh, I will probably put an optical drive in the rig over in the corner and use that uh, with like a Lanex distro or uh, something like that to write um, certain OS's to CDs and then use a CD drive in my my go bag um, with the tablet and stuff. I do have that laptop still that I've got to send to um, To Evan problem is is Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going back to school and if I'm going back to school I will need a laptop and I'm not sure if the British government will pay for a new laptop for me I mean again at the end of the day the British government have just shut down 90% of their mental health programs um, here in this area, I was scheduled to go into a uh, clinic for seven days uh, for tests and evaluations and a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, I don't know what's happening now. I will find out probably later on today at about three o'clock because that's when I'm scheduled to have my, my phone interview with my therapist. Uh, and it's just turning 11 now, which means I've got to finish this coffee and I've got to go because I've got some prescriptions to pick up and I've got some milk to pick up at the shops and a few other things and whatnot. Like I said, I'm going to be grabbing my phone up. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. So basically, you take your white power brick. One, two, three. And so now we are portable. Yay, see, little portable. Uh, I am in the process of trying to customize this little bugger. Uh, yes, my my um, <laughs> my Ponogotchi's name is Waifu Waifu Riku. Uh, if you don't know who Riku is, Riku is the Japanese AI that you use in Titanfall. Um, that was the AI I always, I always went with in Titanfall. Um, and a lot of my street, a lot of my my old school streamers were asking me, do I even understand what my AI is telling me? And I'm like, yes, I spit, I understand Japanese. <laughs> and I used to, same as the German uh, uh, AI. I would always, I would rotate them out for specific, just just for the lols. And then one guy's like, why don't you just use the English one? Just use Jeeves. I was like, no, that's boring. I want to learn Japanese. And so she would be all like, Sunday, Sunday, what the hell? What's your dog? Nani? Yeah, it's like while I'm playing the game, I'm my, my own Titans telling me what the hell's going on and and stuff like this and whatnot. Yeah, and it was just hilarious. And so I figured that would be the perfect name for my Ponogachi. So I have named it Waifu Riku, uh, 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 Rio, Rio. And um, so I want to get rid of the eight bit face. Uh, and replace there is a mod where you can replace it with like a Pikachu from Pokemon. I want to try and take that idea but incorporate my own uh, Cylon images. I'm a huge fan of Battlestar Galactica. Um, if I sh you, you know, what? I'll show you my wallpaper here. Uh, there you go. See, huge fan of Battlestar Galactica. Love the Cylons. Uh, there was a voice pack uh, modulator thing you could get for. Uh, for Mac, for, for, for iPhones, but you can't get it for Android. And that pissed me off because I don't like iPhones. I like Android. And so I wanted to um, get it and, and incorporate the voice pack into my Alexa. Now notice my Alexa's in the corner and doesn't say anything. Ready? But if I say this, computer, what's the weather like? Right now in Reading, it's 13 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. See? So you can scream Alexa all you want to me. She will not respond. <laughs> and I love it. I fucking love it because it makes me feel like I'm I'm on an, on a starship when I want to talk to my Alexa and have it rem remind me of something or other. Um, but it's getting to the point where I needed one, and that's only a gen, that's a gen 2, gen 2, gen 3, uh, I needed one to help remind me to keep taking my, my medication, um, because one of the side effects of the medication is memory loss, 
and so you try and learn and code with memory loss. I I, I go and learn on a website called Allison.com. Not affiliated, um, but hey, Allison, if you want to hit me up for a sponsorship, I'm more than willing. Well, when I um, first started learning, they it, it stores your module data info, so that's how it knows how your progress is to send you your certificates and stuff. So I'm like, yay! So that's 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 great. However, um, I started realizing I'm signing up for modules that I've already completed apparently, because according to the website, I've completed like six out of eight modules required for understanding AI machine learning and, and whatnot, but I don't remember learning any of it. Not a bloody thing. And so I have to go in and start learning, like start watching the video lessons for like the first four or five minutes and all of a sudden my brain goes, oh yeah, I have learned this, next. Ah uh, yeah, next. Ah uh, yeah, next. So I literally spend probably close to about three hours a day literally three hours a day playing catch up on what I've already learned because that's how bad my, my memory retention is right now. Um, I've also picked up another thing. Um, it's a project, it's a personal project that I'm working on. I can't really talk more about it right this second. Um, I would absolutely love to, but um, I can't. Not because I don't remember it. I do remember it. I've, I've literally taken extra notes. Um, it has to do with the fact that if this does work, if my idea does work, it could be potentially worth billions. Um, and I'm not even. I'm not joking. I mean this. This. It, it's. It's an electronic device I'm designing. That. Um, will probably. I wouldn't say it would solve all of the world's problems. Literally, my, my opponent gosh is telling me to go for a walk. No lie. Seriously. Let's go for a walk. Yes, we're going to go for a walk. Um, but long story short, it, it it's a form of communication. It's a communications device. That's all I can say. It's a, it's a HID, human in, in, interface device that I'm designing. That um, if it does do well, if it does take off, if it does work, then... Oh boy, um, yeah, it's going to be fucking amazing, uh, but beforehand, before I, I start talking any more to it in depth, I've actually got to file patents, uh, I'm serious about this, I will be filing patents for it, um, and if it does work as successful as I think it does, It has so much potential. That's my skills to finish the job. I think are there. I just need the tools. So what I need is a uh, hot hot airy workstation, um, one of those USB microscopes, and so yeah, I, I just need some basic, a, a little small basic electronics bench. Um, So I will be setting that up. Um, I also have a metric ass ton of uh, of uh, um, Renegade Guardsmen I've got to paint, as well as um, Plague Bearers, um, Nurgle Terminators. Uh, I've got a Rhino and a Predator to finish off. Uh, a couple of Blight Drones I've got to finish off, and then I've got to start working on some one-off pieces for display. And uh, practice and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, so yeah, those are going off. Um, so I've also got a custom. I, I've 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 sh I've officially shut down my my three D printing shop. I'm going to finish off my my last two customers builds. One is Crypto Viper, and the other one is um, Christina. She's a friend of mine, uh, sweetheart. Absolutely adore her. Uh, she's she she asked me to three D print and paint up some pugs for her. Uh, full disclosure, she's my ex-girlfriend. Uh, we shared a pug together. Her name is Buka. She's still alive. Buka's still alive. Mm. And uh, she wants me to paint these two pugs to look like Buka. 
so that she can have them on one at her, on her desk at work and the other one uh, at her desk in her office at her home uh, so yeah so she'll always have Buka with her kind of thing and um, I'm thinking about doing one and putting having her put it in her car so she's kind of like a bubble head but it's not a bubble head if that makes sense it doesn't bubble or anything but anyway so there was that um, apparently I was also uh, I, I play Fightcade if you don't know what that is it's an online arcade where you play fighting games of various different genres uh, SNK, Capcom, uh, Tekken you name it um, and they also do regional tournaments I apparently got invited to the uh, English uh, 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 regional tournament and um, it was like two weeks ago no I never went because apparently I didn't remember um, but I do remember buying a, 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 an arcade stick and I've used the crap out of it I've got to fix it there's something wrong with it uh, the hat on the uh, control stick is not responding correctly um, and you probably think what the hell is that it's a joystick um, on um, regular like uh, controllers and whatnot yes this one's a, a PlayStation one talking about PlayStation 3 over there I use it as a Blu-ray player um, this is the hat H-A-T uh, which is your up down left right on here um, these of course are analog control sticks and these are both registered differently on PCs uh, on PC uh, these can be registered as individual buttons which is why if you play the old N64 those yeah up here uh, those yellow buttons the C buttons they were technically registered as a hat if you took a, an N64 controller and put it onto a USB adapter and plug it into your computer it registers the C buttons as a hat uh, HAT um, and so like I said it's just logic gates in and out when it comes to to uh, those uh, to controllers controllers are just a simple on off um, principle uh, I'm also going to be taking one of the uh, Raspberry Pis that I'm going to be going to be designing I'm actually going to be building my own custom keyboard with built-in macros um, so yeah it's gonna have its own little display and whatnot with the time and everything else and whatnot um, and like I said that's why I want the FDM printer because I want to literally want to 3d print my own case for my own custom keyboard and stuff it's going to come with a regular USB connection as well as a Bluetooth connection so if I want to use it wirelessly I can just wrap the cable up flick a switch and, and away I go uh, or if I want to use it wired I can just plug it straight in and it will automatically disable the wireless module on it uh, the Bluetooth module on it and uh, away I go so yeah that's the keyboard I'm designing it's, it's going to be both it's also going to have a docking station and USB ports and stuff so I can charge my devices uh, like my phone or just have my Pwn Nagachi plug directly into it uh, so that my Pwn can uh, receive updates and various other things and uh, whatnot. so it's, it's an idea I'm working on uh, I'm going to be uh, racking my brain when it comes to the uh, Arduino so that's the thing I'm not sure if I want to use it on a Pi if I want to use it on an Arduino again I'm waffling so I'm just going to shut up finish this coffee and, and piss off so anyway guys thank you for sticking around watching the video for this long you guys are awesome thumbs up to you uh, round of applause uh, I myself am going to finish this coffee uh, and take my Ponogachi for a walk so uh, yeah there's that and then when I get back I have got to clean off my modeling bench because it is absolutely full of paints and miniatures I've got to figure out something um, and then I'm going to uh, set it up so that I can do some painting because I've got to get some of this I've got to at least get it primed and base coated for most of the guards and uh, that way it'd be easier for me to pick up a model and just do a little bit of paint uh, I also have to um, Oh yes, uh, like I said, I've just finished installing the Ponogachi onto that USB stick. That's actually going to get customized and um, I'm going to use it as a test platform to mess around with uh, scripts and stuff and whatnot. While my main Pona, uh, uh, Riku, uh, she can so say. So. But like I said, I'm going to be getting a, a few more pies um, just to practice with uh, and eventually uh, 
I'm also going to be working on like a home automation system. I actually want to hack. I actually want to hack the Alexa and uh, give it a voice patch which sounds like a song and all. So, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, even with the woom, 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 it'd be like, even have like the LED ring on it, do go a red circle. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I'm also working on my own LED uh, chaser light system. Because uh, I'm going to be building me my own Cylon head for this display. So make sure it's going to be on the um, the on the um, uh, it's going to be on my desk. I'm also going to be doing a Terminator skull as well. It's a working eye as well. Coffee's done. Video's done. I'm going to go for a walk. Pick up my tablets. Buy some milk. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.